Okay, folks, uh, I'm back. We're going to do the second segment of this tutorial. Uh, let me go ahead and make the crankshaft first. Okay, so, uh, oh, one thing that bothers me is that my planes here, see these planes, they don't actually show, uh, some of them are hidden inside of the part. So, to fix that, you go to Tools, Options, and select the, under the Display tab, select the Visualization, under the Display branch, select the visual, Visualization tab, and uncheck Display on all uh, all elements using the buffer, if that happens to be the case. And now you can see my, my planes show up. I prefer this over the Adam one. Okay, so insert a new part in there and say no, and I'm gonna call this thing the crank, okay? Right click properties and I call this thing crank and there and crank. Okay, double click on the crank to get it. On a convenient plane, and for me the convenient plane is this vertical plane, XZ plane, I will sketch. Uh, we'll project that circle, because I want to circle that size, size, like that, okay? And then exit and pad it. Pad it up to this plane, up to this plane. Okay? Let me see if it's... Yeah, so I think that's... Uh, well, I'm not sure if this, this is what we want or we want to flip the arrow. So, yeah, that's good. That's good. Fine. Now, on that plane, I will sketch. Uh, I, will, I want to sketch the, the actual crank here. So let me use the, uh, for example, the, uh, mm, all right, how about, uh, zoom in, okay, so, uh, say there, We may have to do a little bit of cleanup here and there and wrap it around and close it. Okay? So let's do a bit of a cleanup. So this curve, control that curve. I want them to be concentric. Okay, good. And this point I want it to be on that uh, on that axis. Coincidence, should just a little bit. Okay, good, good. And then uh, a circle here because that's where the rest of the crankshaft is going to go. X. Uh, let me see, should I make this thing smaller? Yeah, that's fine. Exit. And then pad it. Oh, actually, you know what? I. Do I need this thing? Yeah, if I want to do multi-pad, I, I can use multi-pad for that. So, uh, uh, okay, so uh, let's see. All right, so that's going to be the exterior, which I'm going to make it maybe one inch, see how it looks like. Whoa, whoa, point uh, five. Yeah, that's okay. And this is going to be the shaft, so I'm going to make it for now one. This, I'm going to make it one. Okay, good. There. Okay. Now I've got to, actually this one I want it to be longer. So uh, let me double click on this. All right, double click on that uh, multi-path. How about that? There. And this one for now, let's make it... Uh, maybe three for now. Good, good. So then I'm going to pr mirror this thing on the other side. So where's the mirror? There's the mirror. And uh, it says select the plane. Uh, select the plane. It's going to be the exit plane. And we say, okay, good. 
So there is the franchise. So I save everything. Now I'm going to insert the last piece, which is the block. Insert new part in there. Say no. Let's call this thing the block. Right click properties block and block. Okay, let's make the block. Uh, it's a weird way of doing it, but be patient and we'll see how it goes. So on this face, I will sketch. <coughs> I'll sketch a rectangle. This may not be obvious, but uh, you'll see why I'm doing this thing in a minute. A little bit of cleanup. This, control that, control the axis here. I want to make it symmetric. This is too big, so let's drag it down here. Okay. Good. And then I'm going to project. Uh, I'm going to project uh, this circle on it, right there. You can see that. And we're going to do a little bit of cleanup. So, uh, quick trim. That's this eraser. You see that? Uh, select this. That line is going to go. Select this piece of the arc. It's going to convert this into a construction one, which is not going to interfere with uh, what you want to do. So, we're going to exit. Okay. And then we're going to pad it, pad this sketch in the uh, well in the opposite direction so let's move it down oh, oops uh, let's move it down right there i can make it go through this and then make a hole here so that the bearing actually is on there but because of the way it's done in the book and it's a little bit differently uh, i'm going to do it uh, follow the instructions in the book okay although i prefer if this goes down and then the the shaft actually goes inside of the hole in there uh, the other thing is that if I want to move this thing up a little bit, so I can say, click on the more, and then use this to make it go up. Good. So the last thing I want to do, I want to make a bearing here. So on this face, I will sketch, okay, uh, project this circle on it, project that circle, there. So we'll exit, exit, and pad this little sketch that we projected. It's too much, so maybe 0.3. Uh, okay, wait a minute. What do I do here? 0.3. There. Uh, actually, I just noticed that uh, I want this thing to be a little bit more uh, sophisticated. So I go back to that sketch, back to that sketch, and I make, uh, add another circle here, right there, exit, and I pad it. Now notice that this is not a separate part. This is all part of the block. In fact, if you right click and change the graphic, uh, right click on the block, properties, graphics, and change the color to yellow, you can see that these are the same parts. They don't have to be connected. Now, I'm going to mirror this thing on the other side. So, uh, where is the mirror? Mirror with respect to, uh, with respect to this uh, exit plane. And I don't want the entire body it says current body i don't want the current body because it also mirrors the, the 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 block itself so let me cancel that here's what i'm going to do i'm going to select the pad select this first and then mirror and then select the exit plane so now it only mirrors the sparing not the actual engine block up there okay good let's do a little bit of a color uh, Coordination here, the connecting rod, right click properties, and I'm going to change that thing to uh, say orange. Uh, piston, right click properties, let's change this thing to something that's not very boring. Green, and finally the pin, the, the pin, 
Uh, right click properties, let's change it to say blue. There, there, blue. And we leave the crankshaft as it is. So before we do the assembly and eventually create the joints and everything, I'm gonna save the entire assembly and then stop the video clip here.